Hey everyone, it's Two Minute Tuesday with MFF. Uh, just so you know, MFF is the Morgan Franklin Fellowship Foundation. We focus on all things financial literacy, money, banking, and finance, and we have a great program called the Standards of Financial Literacy. Today I want to talk about taking different viewpoints. So recently I've been reading a book, um, it's Financially Forward by Alexa Tobel. Um, what I've come to find is as I've been writing kind of my review of the book is that What's really nice about this is that I'm getting a different viewpoint. So obviously I am a male and the author of this is a female founder um, and certified financial planner. She started a technology company focused in the fintech space. Now it's always nice to take another viewpoint and oftentimes it challenges our thinking. And in this particular case there's a number of things in this book that I would never have thought of. Um, mother, founder, um, wife, sister, daughter, um, granddaughter. So she just has a different way of looking at things than I would necessarily. So I'm actually questioning a lot of the things that I would have been um, moving forward with in terms of my financial planning. Now, outside of this book, I think it's super important, just generally speaking, to make sure that you're speaking with people that are different than you. We often find that we surround ourselves with people that are similar to us in similar situations, similar viewpoints, so we kind of have like a tunnel vision. It's really, really important to talk with people that are different than you. They're going to ask you questions that you may not think about. They might challenge your thinking around what you're doing, even though it seems to make sense for you. Their perspective may you know, totally turn things on its head and you might be like, wow, I could do this more efficiently. This tool might be way better than what I'm currently using. I should be allocating more money to this, maybe I should pull back on this particular spending, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in my case, you know, I often try to find people, whether it's through books or meetings or even like the people that I surround myself as my mentors. Some of my mentors are my age, some of them are greatly older, some of them are younger, and I find that they all bring an interesting perspective. It may not be that their thoughts or the way that they're doing things are how I should do it. But when they make their case about why they do it, it makes me question and really think about what I'm doing and if it makes sense right now or if it will make sense to me in the future. It's especially the case with um, some of my mentors that are older than me and farther down the road in terms of their profession um, and their savings and their kind of re approaching retirement. Um, maybe they've started companies or just had more senior level roles. And then people my age are going through similar things that I am where we're kind of like, oh, this is what I've approached for this obstacle that we're both facing right now. And then for younger people, um, sometimes they, like in my case, they haven't been through the same things as me, so they may be a little bit more optimistic or you know, a little bit more um, comfortable with risk. And that might question like, oh, maybe I'm being a little too conservative in this particular situation. So make sure that you're surrounding yourself with different people, taking different perspectives, and seeking out people that aren't necessarily exactly like you, because you're gonna benefit in a great way. Again, this is Two Minute Tuesday with MFF. You can learn more about MFF and our various programs, such as our flagship program, the Standards of Financial Literacy, at morganfranklinfellowship.com. Thank you so much. We'll see you next Tuesday.